Hey everyone and welcome to Global Concilient Research. So folks, I am bringing another series on equity research step by step where I will teach you equity research from absolute scratch. Now the thing, uh, the different thing about this course is that it will uh, completely in English, right? So a few of my students from Nigeria and from Australia are saying, sir, please uh, do a course in English as well. So here we are. So this is the same course as in Hindi that we did previously. So if you are an Indian student, and you are not so comfortable in English, then please skip the session. You may watch the Hindi video, right? All right, so let's begin. So let's see what's the curriculum of this course. Uh, let me just drag it over here. Uh, yes, so close. Yeah. So first of all, we are going to understand the essence of equity research, right? I am going to take you step by step process throughout the uh, this course where you will learn from scratch what is equity research, what it is not, and the circle of competence, right? So the first thing we will understand is essence of equity research. Then we will come at the circle of competence. Then we will look at the different roles in the industry and how can we use the power of LinkedIn to get our dream job, our dream internship and learn from others as well. Then we will talk about sell-side analyst. What is a sell-side analyst? How to become one? What are the professional requirements and what skills to develop, right? And then the complete opposite of sell-side analyst, the buy-side analyst. We will talk about that as well. Actual process of equity research, uh, reading the documents, such as uh, annual report, con calls, credit reports, Everything will be covered in this talk, uh, in this course. And then we will arrive at the conceptual understanding module, EVM and accounting. We will understand what is time value of money through Excel examples. We will look at the practical examples of time value of money. Then we will understand some accounting principles. Now, why am I focusing so much on accounting? Because accounting is the language of business. Without understanding the language of business, you cannot excel in any finance domain, right? And then we will arrive at the most important part reading the annual report and then we will begin, begin our company research so i am telling you one thing pick one international company whatever company you would like so if for this course let me just uh, clear it yeah so for this particular course i am going to analyze uh -huh. control t i am going to this website this website has free data it has both uh, premium as well as free plans so for this particular course in English, I am going to analyze Apple Link. I am going to prepare a financial model on Apple Link as well as a research report on it. All right. So as you can see, if you go on this website, you will find the data for free for international companies. But for Indian companies, the data is not so available. You need to pay for it. But for Apple Link, for this particular course, I am taking Apple as an example because Apple is a quite famous company. Uh, it's around, uh, how much is it? It's 3.3. Uh, what is the market cap for this company? It's three trillion dollars if I'm not wrong. Let's look at the financials, right? So obviously, if we need to do equity research, we need to do the FSA, financial statement analysis. For this particular course, I am going to copy paste the data from here into my Excel sheet, right? But that is for a different session, right? So I'm just saying, pick one company that you will do your equity research on and on which you are going to prepare a report with me. I am going to teach you step-by-step -step method how to prepare an equity research report from scratch, right? All right, let's say you are uh, you are an analyst and you also want to invest your own money in the market. Then we will look at how to screen out good, great, and gruesome companies in the market because there are thousands of companies listed on the stock exchanges that you can invest in. Now, my point of view is you should only invest in those companies which are great. Now, how do you spot the great companies and how do you pick out the gruesome companies? Gruesome company means simply the ones which are not so good and ones which are destroying the wealth of investors, right? Introduction to company filings. We will look at the company filings, how the company files their data. Let's take another example. I'll give you a practical example for this session. Right. Let me just go to. Let's control T Google. Let's go to the Apple website. So I'm going to teach you where to find the data, how to make sense of the data and how to import the data into the Excel sheets. Right. So we have arrived at the Apple website. This is the apple.com the global website of Apple. Now let's see what's, in, what's on their website. You can pick uh, any company you want, actually. I'm just taking Apple because it's one of my favorite companies. Even though I, I'm not an Apple user, I'm using Android and Mac, Windows, right? So I want to see the, uh, just a second, let's go back. Just a second, Apple, Apple Inc. and 10K, SEC filings. We go to the SEC filings. Now, what is SEC? SEC is the Securities and Exchange Commission. Each country has its own board 
own regulatory authority to regulate the capital markets. In United States, it's SEC, Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC filings, right? Let's look at some of the company filings that a company submits with the regulator. 10Q. 10Q is simply the quarterly results, right? Quarterly. Each year has four quarters, right? Each quarter has three months in it, right? Three months and four quarters in a year. 8K. These are some of the proxy filings, right? We will look at each one of them in detail and I'll teach you how to make sense of them and how to read them like a professional fund manager, right? Let's look at the annual report of company. Simply annual filings, click on the annual filings, select here, simply. As you can see, 10K is written over here. 10K is simply your annual report. That company publishes an annual report stating about the performance of the company uh, as compared to the industry and other peers. And you find every single thing in the annual report. Annual report is the gold mine for any investor or an analyst. I will teach you how to make sense of the annual report, how to gather data from the annual report, and how to prepare a professional equity research report from it. All right. So this was a later introduction for the company filings. Let's go. Uh, and on this website, you will find everything. You will find filings as well, right? All the filings, all the important filings, all the recent filings, all the updates are given over here. So you can find it easily over here. The website name is tickle.com, right? It's free. It's free for international companies at least, right? And then we will arrive at the financial statement analysis, the main part that everybody wants to do, right? So this is what we will do in Excel sheet. Let's go further. And screener, uh, as you can see, I'm from India. Screener is for the uh, Indian audience. You, we, uh, we will use ticker.com. Do not worry about it. We will have all the data for international companies as well. Financial statements intro. I'll introduce every single financial statement one by one. Income statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement. So we will decode all these three income statements, or sorry, financial statements from absolute scratch. And I will teach you each line item of these statements step by step. Then we will look at the most important part that most people do not know. Con call analysis and credit reports. These two documents are super important, even more important than these three, right? And I'll teach you how to make sense of that. Con call analysis, simply con call means conference calls, right? It's a conversation between analyst and the management, right? It's just like the PTM of a school, right? Like we were in school uh, and PTM used to happen every month, right? Every three months or two months. So, Conference calls is like the PTM for a particular company where the top management of the company, CFO, CEO, managing director, talks with the analyst. And who are these analysts? These are the same analysts that you aspire to become, right? Sell side analyst, buy side analyst, portfolio manager, and all these analysts, they converse with the top management, discussing about their results, how well they performed, right? What are their future plans? Key future, uh, uh, what are their future plans? Credit reports. We will look at the credit rating agencies, right? Probably the most, uh, I would say the most uh, controversial agencies in the world. What are the pros of credit rating agencies? How to make sense of the credit reports? How to read a credit report? We will look at all this. Industry analysis. We will look at the Porter's, like, uh, I don't know if you have heard about him. The Porter's Five Forces Analysis. We will look at that as well. Research report preparation from scratch. Then we will prepare a research report from absolute scratch. All right, let's begin. Let's begin with the first thing. Right, uh, there are a few points that I would like to like you to follow. Understand that this is a diverse and comprehensive course. This is not some time pass course or formality course from my side, right? I'm going to give you every single thing that I know about equity research and valuation. So please be serious with this course. If you are not in a mood to learn, then I would recommend you to not watch these sessions. Take a notebook and pen always. It's a common sense that you need to make notes. Right, make notes as simple as that because you are going to learn a lot of things about uh, practical world of stock markets and equity research. As this will help you to retain the information easily. Right, if you write something and if you look at it over and over again, if you revise the same thing over and over again, it gets embedded in your brain. Right, so practice the exercises given. I'm going to give you a lot of exercises in Excel files. I will provide you the Excel file as well, and you may join our WhatsApp group as well. So that is the first thing that you need to do. Uh, take a notebook, make notes, and do the exercises. Keep your phone away. Folks, once again, I'm telling you, do not be distracted while uh, learning this course, right? Keep your phone away as much as possible. Be curious as much as possible, and you may follow me on LinkedIn as well. If you're not following me on LinkedIn, then you are missing out on some wonderful content. All right, let's see what happens. All right, let me give you the 
a brief introduction of what is equity research, right? The most basic question I get from students is, how do I get into the equity research, right? So before you get into the equity research domain, before you get into the reading of uh, reading of financial statements, preparing reports, building investment thesis, you need to understand what you are getting into. Because most students that ask me, how do I get into equity research, have no idea what they are getting into. So let's get a deeper understanding of what equity research is all about, right? You do not need to have a, a surface level knowledge of any career option that you aspire to have, right? So you need to have a deeper knowledge, what you are getting into, how many hours you are going to work, what are the pros and cons of a particular industry? So we are going to look at that. All right, let's see what's next. So first of all, if you are not interested in reading about business, then equity research is not for you, right? Because at the end of the day, equity research is all about business research, right? As you can see, I have got the equity research and I have written the business research, right? So at its core, when you say you are buying equity in a business, what you are saying is that you are buying a business. It's as simple as that. So in reality, equity research is all about digging deep into a business and understanding what makes it special and what are the key growth drivers of the business. So as an analyst, what's your job? Your job is simply to this, to do this. Do the analysis. Let me just write over here. Do the analysis on the businesses and understand what makes them special for investment. Special for investments. Because at the end of the day, what you're doing as an analyst is you are recommending investments to your clients, right? Your clients, your clients are only interested in knowing whether they want, uh, they, they, whether they will make money or not, right? Special for investment. And you need to back your research with facts. It's as simple as that. So if you are not interested in reading a more about business, reading the filings, right? Let me just give you a practical example of what you are going to do in a on a day-to-day -day basis. First of all, you will simply, let's suppose your manager gives you a task to analyze the Apple and you need to prepare a research report on Apple Inc, right? So what you, the first step you're going to take is the, look at the annual report of Apple Inc, right? Let's open it up. Let's look at the annual report. Let's download it in the PDF form, right? So as you can see, there are 80 pages. Now, some of you might not be able to read these pages, right? We stop reading after high school, after college, right? So if you are saying that you want to become an equity research analyst, then be prepared to read a lot of documents. Be prepared to make a, like, make a habit of reading a lot of documents, especially related to business. And sometimes it gets a lot of boring, right? It's a quite bored to read all these documents. As you can see, let's uh, let's scroll down, look at the annual report of the Apple Inc. So this is what an annual report looks like for an international company, for a US company especially, right? If you look at the annual report, now you might be saying, sir, this is so boring, but that is what you have to do. You need to make sense out of these. You need to make a prepare an investment thesis out of this. So if you are not ready, if you're not ready to be a business analyst, a business researcher, then please do not get into it. It's quite boring. And after some time, you might start to lose interest in it. Peter Lynch said, let's take a look at the most famous fund managers in the world. Peter Lynch, uh, he was a fund manager at Fidelity Investments, if you remember him. Uh, one of his books, uh, I don't remember the name of the book, uh, Beating the Street, something like that, his book. Like he returned 29% for straight 13 years. That's a wonderful return. Now, he said to become a great analyst or an investor, to become a great analyst or an investor, it's all about researching, right? He, say, he simply said in one of his books that the more you research, the more you get the investment opportunities. So this is the thing about equity research. At the end of the day, what you're doing is you are doing the analysis on a particular business, right? That is your first job. On, and as an analyst, even then, you will not be able to make money for yourself because anal as an analyst, your job is to recommend the stock, recommend the investment to your prospective client and not for yourself, right? So as an analyst, it becomes crucially important to understand the underlying business and company, right? What the business does, how it does, what makes it special, right? If you are, let's say, if you are, let's take another example. Let's say you are a part of a global equity research firm, like global consilient research, like we are, and your manager gives you to analyze the, uh, which company? Microsoft. Let's take the example of Microsoft. It's a known company. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's listed on NASDAQ. So if you truly do not understand what Microsoft does, how it makes money, what makes Microsoft special, you will not be able to become a great analyst, right? So you need to have that understanding that being an analyst is not an easy thing and you need to understand the business in depth to make a wonderful equity research report and a valuation model, which we will learn in the in this course in the subsequent lessons. Now look, let's look at the Warren Buffett, one of the finest investors uh, the, this world has ever seen. Buffett has emph emphasized over and over again, like he has said the same thing over and over again over decades, that he buys businesses and not stocks. So when you are an analyst, you need to understand that you are in the stock market. Yes, you are in the stock market. You are analyzing stocks. But in reality, the reality is when you buy a business, when you buy equity in a business, especially, you are literally buying a piece of a business. When you are doing equity research at its core, you are doing business research. So make sure that you act, you are actually interested in analyzing the businesses and not just analyzing the ticker symbols and price movement and stocks, right? So you need to understand what you are getting into. You are getting into something which is boring for many people, which is reading, right? Equity research in reality is about analyzing businesses and not so much about analyzing the price movements because understand this thing that price movements is just a derivative of business performance. If a business performs really, really well, then the price is going to go up. Let's say, uh, let me give you a simple example for it. We're all drawings. Yeah. Here we have x-axis, here we have y-axis, right? The EPS of a company goes like this, right? Now, EPS of a company and the stock price are correlated in some manner, right? When the company performs really, really well, the stock price will also go up. So understand this point that the business is actually what makes money, right? It's not the stock price that is making money for you. It's the business which is making money. Then the stock price follows. So understanding business is the first point and understand this point that Analyzing businesses is quite boring for many people, right? Essence of equity research. So once you get into this buy side or sell side equity research, right? You, you, your entire job will be based on analyzing businesses, right? You are just analyzing businesses, analyzing industries and making investment thesis on it. And I'll teach you how to make investment thesis and prepare a full-fledged equity research report on it. So I'm going to teach you everything in this course. You just need to do one thing. Kindly subscribe my channel. I'm bringing this uh, series in English, especially for my foreign students, right? So understand this point. If you want to learn how to prepare a professional Wall Street type research report, then I'll teach you every single thing for absolutely free. YouTube is a free university, but if you do not subscribe to our channel, then it's your own loss, right? So as we will learn everything in this course from such as Global Concealing Research is also a global equity research startup. We are about to get our uh, nod from our market regulators very, very, very soon. So let's understand the role of an analyst. Consider yourself as an investigator and not just an analyst, right? So this is the main thing about and being an analyst, right? That an analyst is a, is like a Sherlock Holmes, right? Basically what Sherlock Holmes, he was a detective, right? I don't know much about him. I haven't seen any of his movie or episode or whatever. But understand this point that you need to think and act like an investigator and you will approach equity research with a different mindset. Because once you consider yourself as a detective, that you are preparing the reports, you are preparing every single thing that a, a prospective investor can know, then you will unearth many hidden gems and make a lot of good recommendations as well. So at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is, what I'm is that being an analyst is no different from being a detective. Right? So understand this point. You need to approach it with a different mindset. You need to approach it with a, a different skill set. right? So I'm going to teach you every single thing in this course. So kindly like the video if you're liking the course. right? The most important thing, the most important thing in a particular equity research, stock market investing, or in life in general, is understanding your own circle of competence. Like most people try to get into a uh, software business, IT in IT industry without ever understanding what they are good at, right? So I'm just saying, don't be a sheep. Don't be a sheep over here and understand what you truly understand, right? Most people do not understand what they understand, right? It might sound a bit confusing, but most people do not know what they actually understand and they try to copy others, right? 
knowing what businesses and industry you actually understand and avoiding those which you don't understand is the first step towards success in equity research so let's say i'm a, you are let me give you a simple example of an indian company right let me give you a simple example let's go to the ticker i am going to use ticker entirely so that you may become comfortable with with this tool ekai energy services so there is this company ekai energy services limited which is listed on uh, listed on bombay stock exchange in india now what this company does is is quite uh, non understandable for most people right they are into carbon credits now most people do not understand what are they what are carbon credits and how do they make money from them now let's say you are given a let's read the overview of this company so as you can see they are written over here provides climate change and sustainability advisory carbon offsetting business excellence services electrical safety audit services and you in us uk european union india australia and china right so this is the main business activity of this company now some might say they are, they are understanding what they are saying but if i uh, if i tell you honestly i do not understand what their business is what are carbon credits how do they make money of it what is carbon offsetting business excellence services what type of services are these electrical safety audit services i truly do not understand how they make money so if i talk about myself personally this business is outside of my circle of competence but let's take example of the previous example that i took apple link now many of us are using the apple products on a day to day basis we have our macbook we have our apple watch we have our iphone right so we understand what the apple does right so this point what a company does and how it makes money is crucial for an analyst and for an investor as well even mr buffett has said the same thing right all right let's go further so here is a circle that you truly need truly need to get into your head right now this entire universe look at this area right look at this area first hmm hmm clear now look at this area this entire area right this entire area is the entire universe of all the businesses and industry all the stock that have listed on the market like in india we have around 7000 stocks listed on uh, bombay stock exchange right so you need to understand that there will be a lot of stocks listed on any, any given market right so and this area is what you think you need to focus on this is where most people struggle right they think they need to focus on what other people are focusing on right yes they say like if other person is uh, initiating his coverage on apple i need to initiate my coverage on apple as well so this area is where you actually need to focus this is what you actually understand truly at your core right this is the your circle of competence out of all the stocks in this world you only understand these many so this is my first point that i'm trying to convey here that <coughs> sorry that if you are an analyst or a or an investor let's say you are investing your own money you are trying to grow your own money in the market right you need to get this point first that only focus on those things that you truly understand otherwise you are going to make a lot of mistakes and you are going to lose a lot of money for yourself and your client as well so this was my main point that i want to convey focus is the key to equity research right if you are into equity research my point is simply just focus on the on those things that you truly understand ignore rest of the stuff just blur out everything else and focus on what you actually understand and we will make a wonderful career so according to mr warren buffett you do not have to be right about every business right once again if you are an investor or an analyst you do not have to be 100% successful even a 60% success rate is absolutely fine even a 50% success rate is still considered to be good right you are better off by not investing in a business that you truly don't understand right define your zone of hitting is super crucial is what it's what he calls the circle of competence where you have an edge over others let's say you understand banking better than most people right so that is your zone of hitting you need to make sure that your zone of hitting is something that you have an edge over other people let's say you work at a, a retail store now you might be having some insights about the retail industry that most people do not understand so that is where your zone of hitting is you are going to hit home runs over here right so this is what circle of competence also is all about and choose and define your circle of competence all right
let's wait further so this is a wonderful graphic that i found on twitter uh, it's from safal nivesha you can follow him on twitter as well he's a wonderful wonderful guy to learn investing from so once again this is your safety zone this is what you actually understand and how do we grow our circle of competence i would say read read a lot of right be a learning machine right like as i said in the beginning equity research is quite boring for many people because it requires a lot of reading it it requires a lot of focus it requires a lot of research i would say right you need to use your common sense you need to use use your psychology and you need to have a good accounting background as well right if you look at the advanced aspect so let's get further so the first step you need to take pick a company right i have already picked apple as my company for the example of this course i will read the annual report of apple from with you uh, with you i'll teach you how to make investment thesis out of it so i want you to do the first step pick one company which excites you the most these are some of the indian companies i would say do not pick indian companies right pick some international company maybe uh, listed on us or maybe a pick a simple company at first right do not pick a complex company to value and understand pick a simple company that you actually understand and then we then we will proceed further right and then in the next video we are going to talk about the equity research industry roles what are buy side what are sell side analysts right so we will talk about talk everything about them right but the first step is pick a company and i'll see you in the next session i hope you liked the session this is the first introductory lesson this was all theory but trust me in the subsequent session we are going to do as many practical example as possible and with this i'm signing off i hope you like the session and if you have not already done so i am preparing this uh, english season uh, for a special request from my friend in nigeria right so understand this point if you truly want to learn then kindly subscribe the channel and share it with your friends thank you so much folks all right